What's up, everybody? Good morning, and welcome back to Sports Gambling Daily. My name is Jared, and pretty much what I try to do here is post daily sports betting content. Um, so let's jump right on into it. Um, yeah, thanks for for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button if you liked it. I mean, if you don't like it, then hey, don't don't do nothing. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, yesterday I did not like yesterday at all. Yesterday we took a hit. Astros got crushed. Our premium selections got crushed as well. Now, we were on a pretty good roll as far as the premium selections, but yesterday we took a hit. So uh, we're going to see if we can bounce back today. We have a short card. It's a travel day on a Thursday. So there might be a couple screwy things, or as Joe says, there could be some shenanigans today. But we'll see. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and jump into a matchup here very shortly. Um, let me remind you guys about our website www.sgdwins.com that is sgdwins.com hey that's a place where you can purchase our premium selections if you are interested that's where you can find it link is in the description also check out the discord the discord is awesome we just uh, crossed over 900 members yesterday i believe it was um or maybe two days ago well yeah, uh, the Discord, picks, plays, parlay, sharing information. It's an amazing place to be. The camaraderie is incredible. Even on losing days, we're all there to back each other up. Um, yeah, and there's also a place where you can go into a live betting voice. You don't even have to say anything. You just go in there, and you can mute yourself, and you can just listen to people that know what they're talking about. Um, you know, And then also, um, myself, I'm in there. Joe's in there all the time. Peyton's in there so you can interact with us. We're just not somebody you see on YouTube and you know, you know, we you, you literally can go in there and talk to us and it's us. I mean, so you know, go check it out. The link's in the description. It's free to join. Go get it. All right, let's jump into today's matchup. We got the Mets versus the Phillies. This is the early game, 105 Eastern Time in Citizen Bank Park, Philadelphia. All right, you got Zach Wheeler taking on Aaron Nola. All right, so uh, after feeling like he began, began to throw the ball a little bit better, Zach Wheeler, over his last two starts, um, he finally started to see results in a seventh-inning victory uh, where, he threw, where he threw seven innings in a victory over the Cubs on Saturday. Now, Wheeler allowed just one run while striking out five and walking one in his sixth win of the season. Yeah, so he has 108 strikeouts on the year, um, 4.69 ERA. Now, Aaron Nola, on the other hand, the righty, um, he has allowed one earned run and struck out 10 in eight innings on a, a Friday loss to the Marlins. Now, Nola has been up and down all season long. He currently has um, a 5.5 ERA in four starts this month. Um, that's after posting a 2.50 ERA in his last, uh, or in the seven starts prior to that from April 25th to uh, May 29th. Now, Aaron Nola has got 100 uh, strikeouts. Uh, current with a 4.55 season ERA, six and two. Um, one of the things to note here on these two pitchers is um, every time Zach Wheeler goes up to pitch for the Mets, I mean they are 11 and five to the over, and then um, Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Uh, every time he pitches, so he, he's 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 taken the bump 16 times this year. He's 12 and four to the over. I mean, those are pretty significant trends there. Um, let's look at some uh, batters here now. Uh, people to look out for here: so Bryce Harper. Now he's in a, a bit of a slump, and versus Zach Wheeler is really no different. He has a career 1.54 uh, average versus Wheeler. That's over 26 at bats. He does have one home run with four RBIs. Now, Pete Alonzo, on the other hand, versus Nola. He's faced Nola twice, gotten one hit. Um, but, you know, Pete Alonzo, he's one of the best players on the uh, the Mets. So, definitely look for him to put some runs up today. All right. Hey, I also want to talk to you about um, the, uh, the bullpens. So, this is what I got as far as the bullpens go. So, Philly is 20th in the league in bullpen ERA. And a really awful stat here, um, bat, batting average against, they are 28th in the league. So even if these two pitchers decide to pitch a, a you know pretty good game, if we can get into the bullpen, we might have um, 
you know, there could be some good live betting opportunities there. Now, uh, the Mets, on the other hand, they're, they're, they're 28th in the league in ERA, bullpen ERA. They're one, of, they're one of the biggest disappointments this year as far as bullpens go. You know, with Diaz and Familia, you'd think they would be a lot better. And then they're 26th in the league in batting average against in their bullpen. Um, as far as hitting goes real quick, uh, the Philly is 23rd in the league in average versus righties. And the Mets are 17th in the league on average versus uh, uh, right-handed pitchers as well. All right, so let's see. Let me pull up some trends real quick. Here it is. All right, over is 8-1-2 and two in the Mets' last 11 games following a loss. And the over is 7-0 and oh in Nola's last seven starts following a quality start in his last appearance. Now, the over is also 6-2-1 and one in Wheeler's last six games versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, the over is 12-3-2 in the Mets' last 17 row games versus a team with a home winning percentage of greater than 600. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the line movements. Uh, so, it's actually gone down. We've had a little bit of we've had money coming in on the under, which I love that. Um, if if I see that I'm against the public money, um, I enjoy that. So you know, it went from nine and a half to nine. So I think there's some significant value here at nine. Now the over is juiced at the moment. That's because the the line dropped, but um, that might even out if you wait a little bit. So uh, go check that out if you're interested. So my bet is going to be on the over in this game, um, over nine. Aaron Nola versus Zach Wheeler, Mets versus Philadelphia. All right, hey, come check out the Discord. Come get it. Also, come check out the website. You know, just look around and see what you think. Uh, SGDwins.com. All right, as Peyton would say, I hope you win a million dollars. And as Joe would say, uh, hopefully, well, he says, this is the winning edition. Well, let's hope this is the winning edition. And as I, I say, hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you at Whataburger. Peace.